are some of the things that you look for when you're <clears throat> hiring a writer? I look for someone who has something to say. I, I, a passive writer doesn't interest me. But, and that's how I start every when we go into the episodes. It's like, what do you want to say? What do you have to say? And, I, and um, if a writer doesn't have anything to say, they shouldn't be writing. Do you think that there's a lack of women writers in TV? And if so, why do you think that is? Gosh, you know, yeah, I do. I think there's a lack of women um, in all, all of the creative fields in our business. And I think part of it is, I, I don't think it, it's never on purpose. I think people hire who you know and who you feel comfortable with, but that's a mistake because being too comfortable, you're not going to get a good show out of that. If you don't make a deliberate attempt, if you don't make it a, um, your mission to hire opposite of you, whether, you know, for me it would be, you know, men, and it would, and it would not be white men, you know, men of color, um, of different sexual orientations, all of those things, when you put a writing staff together, you want diverse minds. What's the difference uh, between writing for cable versus network? Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. You get, you get, it, and it's still a collaboration, which if you don't want to collaborate, don't, please don't come to Hollywood and try to be a writer because you've got to collaborate. And, but you have more of a chance in cable to tell to explore character and to tell stories from a character's point of view. So that, there's a lot less money, there's a, you have a lot less money for your, for your show and you personally make less money, but I'd trade that any day, any day, to, in order to be able to tell the stories that I've gotten to tell on, on cable. What's the best piece of advice uh, you've been given as a writer or, or what best advice would you have for an upcoming writer? I believe it takes three things to be successful in this business. You've got to have talent, and my belief is that, that that's a gift from God. You don't do anything about that, you just get it. But then you've got it, then it's the craft, and the craft is where you have to work your ass off. Um, nobody gives that to you, and you've got to learn the craft of screenwriting, and it, it is a craft not only in terms of an entire script, but in terms of scenes. There is a structure to scenes. So there's talent, there's craft, and the last one, which might be more important than any of them, is tenacity. Because if you, there are so many people that come to this town with dreams, the dream to want to write, act, direct, whatever. And they're talented, and they know their craft, but they give up because the big break doesn't come. And the thing that saved me, if I had had a second love, if I had wanted to be a nurse or a lawyer or a teacher, I would have given up. But I had no second choice. So I had no, I was either going to write or I was going to bartend all my life. So if you think you want to be a writer, chances are you're not going to make it. If you m must write, if you have to write, and you possess talent, you know your craft, and you and you have the patience. You're gonna you're gonna make it. You're gonna find someone who's gonna respond to your work. Mm -hmm.